and welcome back to another weekly vlog. So I know I keep calling these weekly vlogs, don't I? But then they end up just kind of being bi-weekly or maybe once a month. But hopefully I can get into a proper routine of, of making these weekly vlogs and I will tell you why. It has been maybe about a week and a half now and I have finally gotten fiber optic. Fiber optic. It has just been the most horrendous journey getting here. Just imagine running a YouTube channel where you are uploading videos all the time and you're trying to upload on broadband speed. It's just, it's not like I live anywhere rural. It's just the street that I'm on. They just are, oh, whatever. Anyway, so upload and download speed uh, on the broadband, my previous internet, I was uh, download that streaming, isn't it? Like YouTube, Netflix and that kind of thing. That was about anywhere between 10 and 12, depending on the time of day. The upload speed, which is uploading videos onto YouTube, was a nice, happy 0 0.8. 0 0.8, which is just, oh, uploading a video like this, for example, would take two hours to upload, I'd say. But it wasn't necessarily the fact that it takes two hours to upload, because that's fine, I could probably find some other things to do but it was the fact that it was taking all of the bandwidth up. So it basically meant I had to upload, uh, you know, one o'clock, two o'clock in the morning. And especially since I have two channels, so if I'd made a video on this channel, my main channel, and then I'd made a performance video as well, I was literally getting up at three, half three in the morning to then upload the performance video on my other channel after this one had uploaded, because you can't upload on two separate channels at exactly the same time, it's either one or the other. So, I mean, that was just fun. And I'm now running on, let's say around about 70, 276 up uh, download and then upload is a euphoric 20 which means that I can now upload well it basically means I can make this video edit this video in the next 10 minutes and then literally have it up and running today so I don't have to pre-make videos but it was just oh it was so anyway I now have super fast internet which is an absolute game changer and really the reason why I have started my new YouTube schedule so uh, last year I was doing piano and violin tutorials and at the beginning of this year it was just getting a bit too much I just couldn't fit it all in but now things have been changing as I've mentioned um, as of pretty much now, I no longer teach at home, so I still do online lessons, Skype lessons, but I no longer have any students at home. And that is so that I can make way into doing all of this. Teaching is something that I can do any time in my life, and I've done 15 years of solid private teaching, which I've thoroughly, thoroughly enjoyed over the years. Um, but, you know, I'm just kind of I just want to make hay while the sun shines. So while all of this is available to me, you guys, YouTube, Patreon, writing and arranging sheet music, backing tracks, performing, all the kind of things that I love to do whilst I can still do it, I just want to be able to do that because I can teach, like I said, I can teach any time in my life and I can build those students back up again at any point. So now because of the internet, I promise I won't mention the internet anymore in this video, but now because of the internet, I am able to go back to doing these tutorials. So I'm now writing sheet music for piano, um, and I'm now doing two a week. So I put a poll out on Patreon. When did I do that? Maybe, maybe about three, three, four weeks ago, asking for you guys on Patreon, how many of you are piano and how many of you are violin? So I think it turned out to be about 70% violin, 25% piano, somewhere around there, which is what I thought. But then a lot of you were commenting underneath that post saying that you were also pianists as well. So because I already do two violin performance videos a week, as you guys already know, with the sheet music, I do one piano video week, which is the Piano Patreon Friday video, I have now increased that to two per week. So we've got two violins and we've got two pianos per week. And then also we've got the Patreon request dump that comes out on the second of every month. That is predominantly violin, but 
you know, I don't have a honey, I don't have any hand in that. Just most of you just request file in pieces. So if that's what you request, that's what you get. So that is basically the new schedule. So what we're gonna have now uh, on Tuesdays, we're gonna have a piano tutorial of song A, let's call it. On Wednesday, there'll be a violin tutorial of song A, and on Wednesday as well, at the same releasing at the same time as the violin tutorial, but on my performance channel, I will have a violin performance of song A. Then on Friday, we will have Piano Patron Friday of song B, let's say, and then on Sunday, there'll be a violin performance of song B. So that means two violin uh, sheet music and two piano sheet music, as I said. So that is, is that. And the other thing is that I have remade my original violin video lessons one to 10. So they are six years old now. I cannot believe I've been on YouTube for, uh, what? Yeah, six years, 2011. So um, I think it was about two weeks ago, I had, my channel had its six year birthday. I think my first video came out on something like the 18th or I don't know, uh, 15th of October, I don't know, whatever it was. It was somewhere mid October. So yeah, they were the first, the first ever, one of the first ever videos that came out on my channel, six years old. Just looking back at them, I just think, my God, what was I doing? And I was looking at my hair and my eyebrows and my makeup and what I was wearing and how close my face was to the camera. God, all these things that, you know, you just, you just learn over the years, don't you? And the quality of the camera, horrendous, but at the time it was really good. I think it's like 720 with a three megapixel Sony, one of those camcorders that kind of flip out. Yeah, so anyway, uh, no lighting. I've, I've, got, uh, I've got a ring light here, which actually you can see in the background. Excuse the mess, by the way, I've just been filming my, my this week's um, performance videos and violin tutorial and piano tutorial. So this is how my office generally looks when I'm actually working. And then obviously I, I tidy it all away, but I couldn't be bothered to do any of that. I just wanted to film this video and get it out to you. And then I've also got proper ring light, proper lighting as well. And that makes all the difference. So if you have good lighting, it just means people can see what you're doing a lot better and it doesn't quite look as grainy and the quality looks better. So, so yeah, I just thought I would redo them and my editing was just horrendous back then. So I used to have a Windows laptop, but the editing, I think it was Windows Movie Maker or something that comes free. It was just, it was a terrible program. I couldn't really get the hang of it. I didn't really know what I was doing. So in those videos, I would just talk and talk and talk, much like I am now really, but this is a talk video, but I would just talk and talk. I just, I could have just edited them out better, but you know, we're going back six years when I first started the channel. So anyway, I thought I would remake those, just revamp them in today's style. And just, um, the information hasn't really changed in them, but I guess my delivery method is a lot better. So they're a lot slicker, smoother, and a lot more succinct as well. And I've updated all the PDFs that, that went with them, added a few new ones. There was actually a PDF that I would, I'd drawn out by hand. What is that all about? So I spent a good hour putting it all onto computer. So it was just, so when you print it out, it just looks so much more professional. So I've redone those and, da da da, I've written a songbook one that goes with it. So I didn't get chance to write any books when I first started my channel six years ago because I didn't even think that I'd have a channel by Christmas, let alone six years down the line with 300,000 odd of, of you following. So this time I thought I would make a song book one. So when I did violin book two, what was it last year or the year before, I, I put that into a book, the tutorial book two, and then I put a song book with it, which is 10 pieces that go with the, the level of, of, of that, the, the tutorial book. So violin lessons one to 10 don't come with a book. They just come with free PDF printouts that are always on, linked underneath the video. But I have decided to write a song book one. So, I just thought that the PDFs, the, the exercises that came with with, um, with the open string exercises, the finger one, finger two, that kind of thing, there was only six of them. And I thought, well, I, I could just write like another six exercises, but because they were exercises and they weren't pieces, I felt, I don't know, I felt they would just kind of get a bit boring and you'd just feel like you weren't really doing anything, which, the exercises were good to a point because it means that you, you're not playing pieces that you know, which means you're having to play what's written, 
But then when you do learn, there you do want to play some pieces that you do know, which is where Songbook One comes in. So this should be the level of everything you've learned in those video lessons one to ten. Plus these do come with video uh, demo and tutorial anyway and all of those links are in the book. So yeah I thought I would write a songbook one so I was catching up with my tail last week trying to make all these videos, edit all the videos, upload them all at the same time which I've never been able to do before so that was so much easier to do that. I'm now rendering all of my videos in like you know, each video is like two and a half to three gig, which is just massive, which means they're just gonna be a lot higher quality. Uh, and then finishing off the songbook as well. So all of that kind of added together, I've just kind of been catching up and I just didn't have time for a weekly vlog. So I'm really sorry about that. So hopefully now we can get back into some kind of routine. Anyway, this video is monstrously long, so I'm gonna stop now and I need to edit the audio of this week's two violin pieces. Um, should I tell you? No, I'm not gonna tell you what they are. You, you, you can wait. They'll be out on, the, 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 the one I've recorded here will be out on Friday, or they'll be the, the piano sheet music for this one on Friday and the violin performance will be out on Sunday. So thank you very much for watching. I will hopefully, fingers crossed, see you in next week's weekly vlog. Hopefully there should one. And I'm just gonna leave you with a, like a, a 50 second clip of some footage. I was in my local town um, about three days ago and I saw this incredible guy in the city. So I whipped out the phone, recorded a bit of footage. Um, yeah, you just have to watch it. It's like 50 seconds long at the end of this video. So I hope you like it. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next week. Bye.